So recently I had an issue with my downstairs HVAC unit. And as a result, I had to call an HVAC technician. They came out and they fixed the wiring problem. But because of the issue I had, I had to replace my Gen 3 Nest thermostat. So I looked through online and tried to find the best deal that I could. And I discovered the Google Nest thermostat. And there are some things that I wish I had known about switching from my friend here, the Gen 3 Nest thermostat over to the Google uh, Nest thermostat. And I wanted to cover those things in this video. Other than, you know, some possible aesthetic appeal, why would you choose this Google thermostat over the Gen 3, you know, perfect Nest thermostat that it is? Uh, it's actually, it's money, you know. If you were to look online, the, a replacement for this, if it's not on sale, might be close to $250. If it's on sale, might be closer to $200 US dollars. Uh, this Google Nest thermostat I was able to pick up for right at $130. So you're looking, if this is not on sale, at almost half off to go with this thermostat. So at least for me, that's why I picked this one. <laughs> if you've ever had a Nest thermostat before, you've probably looked online at some of the resources to be able to install them, things like that. All of that holds true with this Google Nest thermostat. There are great resources out there to walk you through the process. So I definitely recommend that you watch some videos on that and pay attention to how to install it because we will be mainly talking about the differences between the two models and not every single, you know, thing that this thermostat is actually capable of. So let's go ahead and jump into the installation process. Always turn your power off before you start. You'll see here that on this Nest thermostat, my HVAC contact had already taken out the wires. This is what it would look like if those wires had not been bunched together and connected with a nut. As you can see, I'm backing out the screws here. I will say that taking those wires out of the Nest thermostat base is very easy. Oftentimes you just have to push down uh, that tab a little bit and then tug the wire out and it should come right out. So you can see here I have removed the screws but it's still attached to the wall. So you might need to take a sharp object like a knife or a box cutter and go around the edge of your Nest thermostat to cut any paint that might be holding it to the wall. You want to make sure you do this so that you don't tear your paint and cause more damage to the wall uh, than you need to. So you can see here I had a lovely yellow color underneath my base thermostat and that will need to be painted over as you'll see a little bit later. These wires should just stick right into these contacts and you can tell that it's stuck when you do a pull test and it's it's still in there and that the indentions are down this is obviously the back of the unit and it's just going to clip onto the base uh, like so at this point you can go ahead and finish setting up this thermostat through the app and of course you also need to turn the power back on your breaker to make sure that your unit is set so you might have noticed some of the differences going through the video but i wanted to go ahead and spell those out as well so the first difference is that the base size for the Gen 3 Nest thermostat is larger than the base size for the Google Nest thermostat. So if you're going to do a replacement, you wanna make sure that you either A, buy the base plate for this to hide up the extra area that's going to be exposed, or B, you have extra paint uh, to cover up that area when you take this base off because some of it will still be visible. In my case, we are adding extra paint over that area, so that is accounted for, no problem. The difference you might have noticed is that the Google Nest thermostat actually has a lot fewer options for wires, you know, slots for wires to go in, and the Gen 3 base has all these different options. Um, so what I would suggest is go through, watch the Nest videos that they have online uh, on how to install and how to make your connections, and I will say that when you actually walk through the Nest process of installing the thermostat, they do a good job of explaining the different wire types, but just pay attention to that too, that if you're using the Google Nest thermostat, make sure it's compatible with your system uh, because it does have a few less wire types. Once again, I'm not an HVAC guy, so I can't tell you what all those mean, uh, but just pay attention that there's less wire options on the Google base. Another difference you might have noticed is actually uh, the secondary power source of the Google Nest thermostat is actually just batteries, it appears to be a couple AA batteries, whereas the alternative power source for the Nest thermostat uh, is actually you have to plug it in and let it charge. Uh, that's really not a big deal either way. Oftentimes if you're relying on the auxiliary power source, there's a problem with your system and someone's gonna have to come out and take a look at it. Uh, but just make a note of that. Know that uh, the Google Nest thermostat's powered by batteries and uh, in this case, you actually have to charge uh, the Gen 3 base if you need to have any extra power or anything if your power source is down. The last difference we noticed, and I would encourage you to do your homework on this, 
is that it appears the Google Nest thermostat is not compatible with the Nest app. Um, it appears the Google Nest thermostat is compatible with the Google Home app, uh, and you can program your existing Nest thermostats with that Google Home app, but it appears to not be backwards compatible. Now I could be way off on that and I could be missing something, so I'm sure the commenters will let me know if I am, but um, to my knowledge, and if, if I am, Go ahead and comment and I will pin the comment so everyone that watches the video know that I am wrong in this video. Uh, but I think it's a one-way trip. If you decide to go with the Google Home thermostat, you're going to be tied to the Google Home app and not so much the Nest thermostat app itself. So that's the video. I hope it's been helpful. I hope that uh, this gives you some things to think about before you go out and drop 120, 130 bucks uh, on a new thermostat. And I also hope that you don't have to do this in the middle of summer uh, when it's 90 something degrees outside because that's the worst time to have HVAC trouble.